In this video, let's take a quick look at inserting our family back into our existing building model that we've created so far. And then let's just look at a few editing techniques that we can use for quick editing our families. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm just here with oh, inside of my family now, is let's load into project. And now we've loaded that family. So I'm going to click on my component and just bring it in the centerpiece of this commons area exists in about this area. Actually the bar bench seating, actually the column is the center point. So I'm just going to click and insert that here. And you'll see we inserted the one with seven tables, but because of the types that we created, if I just click on my drop down, we'll see the five type, the seven, and I went back and edited and added an eighth bar table type as well. So I'm just going to select on that. Let's give ourselves a camera view just kind of looking in here as you set up your interior rendering for this space. And you'll see as you insert the windows and your lighting and the rest of the entourage that you'll need, this will set up to be a pretty nice interior rendering that you can come back and do when, the, when you get to that point. As far as the family editing, I did want to point out, if I go back to my first floor view, I wanted to point out as you begin to work back and forth manipulating your families you might want to remember that if you come down on the project browser list there's actually a families category and if we come down to furniture you'll see the bar bench seating Revit family with tables family that I have here if I select on this component that we've placed in the model I can edit family here and it'll bring me right back into the family editor and you'll see the array of the tables and actually if I select on one of those tables I can edit group and once I come inside of edit group if I select one of the tables again I can go directly back and edit that family as well so that's kinda how you work back to maybe add any additional parameters you may need or to adjust any heights or any profiles that you may, may need to adjust between your sweeps or the extrusions that you have. But I'm going to cancel out of this. And if I just tab back to my project, I wanted to show you that as you make those modifications and you come back on this family categories list, if I right click on any family in my project, Revit will give me the option to reload. And you can reload these families once you've made you know family type modifications or material modifications you don't have to reinsert the families you can actually just reload them and it'll ask you if you want to overwrite the existing parameters and you can accept that and you'll be on your way with your modified family I hope this video is helpful for you you'll definitely do some working back and forth to get the families to appear right